In 2003, no lesbian or gay couple could legally marry in the United States. Many couples long for this civil right. They long to be equal to other Americans. Mary Bonato of GLAAD, Gay Lesbian Advocates and Defenders, filed a marriage equality lawsuit in 2002 for seven couples, the Goodrich plaintiffs. Bonato had represented many gay and lesbian clients in dealing with the tragic difficulties faced by not being allowed to marry. They could not protect their children, speak for their disabled or ill partners, share health benefits, or be legally recognized by their communities. On November 18, 2003, the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court ruled. The Goodrich plaintiffs rushed to Boston for a press conference to hear their fate. The court had ruled for marriage equality. For the first time, everyone in Massachusetts had the right to marry the person that they loved. Celebrations broke out across the United States. On hearing the ruling, anti-equality forces attacked the decision, declaring that discrimination was justified by the Bible. 200 years earlier, slavery had also been justified the same way. The far right understood that marriage equality in Massachusetts could lead to marriage equality across the United States. Many religious people were outraged that their religions were being used to justify discrimination against other Americans. Twenty-six religious denominations in Massachusetts sprung to the defense of marriage equality. Thousands of people went to the State House to convince their legislators of the importance of marriage equality. Thousands more wrote letters, emailed, made phone calls, and talked with their neighbors about marriage equality in their lives. At first, only 50 legislators supported the Goodrich decision. By the time the final vote was taken, 151 legislators supported marriage equality. Minds and hearts had been changed. The separation of church and state had been upheld. Another step had been taken in expanding the we and we the people. We and our allies became totally involved in the democratic process and we elected many marriage equality legislators. Marriage equality came first in Massachusetts, but in 2008, the Supreme Court of California ruled that marriage equality was guaranteed by its state constitution. With this ruling, marriage equality was extended to over 60 million Americans in Massachusetts, California, and New York. We will continue to court equality at the state and federal level. The march towards equality for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community in Massachusetts and nationwide has been long and steady. And it will continue until our people achieve full civil rights. <laughs>